Hey, so uh, this week I'm going to be playing limited, trying to get in as much practice as I can for that for the next Pro Tour. Um, but I've decided that I want to have uh, outside assistants, basically people who will yell at me when I make mistakes or talk about things that I might miss so I can learn things. Uh, this week I have Pro Tour Journey to the Next Top 16 competitor Stu Summers with me. You went 5-1 in limited at that PT, right? Yeah, I 3 0 the first draft and then 2-1 the second, losing to Jared Betcher. Okay, so uh, we're opening our pack of M15 here. I'm pretty sure the pick is Stab Wound here. Uh, what else do we see? The River Marshal's good. Infernal Fist Mystic. We are shipping a decent amount of black, but that's going to go a few picks deeper, correct? I agree. For, yeah, it's kind of the middle color for this format. I always you know, felt like if I'm shipping to my left, I'm not that worried about what they're going to take because it'll affect me for one pack. And I can focus more on my second color there and then not to worry about it on pack three. Uh, worth noting, I've had actually really good experiences with this card, uh, the stockpile. I mean, if, but... you, if you were worried about what you're shipping to the lap, I would just take Elvish Mystic or Inferno Fist, but... I think Stab Wound's better than Inferno Fist. I can see that. I mean, it would just be between Mystic if you don't want to pass, you know, any real signals to your lap if you're worried about that, or Stab Wound. But I think Stab Wound is the better card. Do you, do you think Mystic's better than Fist? Um... I think it's close, for sure. Okay. I'm just going to take the best card, especially because I think I want to hope to wheel the stockpile, and if black's open, I can draft for that. Uh... <coughs> Do we like... Oh, I didn't even see that on first glance. I don't... Nothing else here is close. Yeah, it's definitely a lightning strike. Yeah, next best is Raise the Alarm, Rare Missing so no one cares, a Turn to Frog that we probably should play around later. Turn to Frog and just Sanctified Charge we should know about in case, you know, somebody's playing with a token deck. Yeah, it, it's always, I don't know, I just kind of assume that they have Charge if they're doing that kind of thing, until I have reason to not think so. Yeah, that card's a little bit hard to play around too, because they just when they turn everything sideways, you kind of just assume they have Charge and you're in trouble. Yeah, there, there's really not good blocks against that card if... I guess, like, your good blocks are, like, block your non-white creatures that you hopefully have, and if you don't, then I'm dead. Uh, I like Flesh to Dust here. Oh, yeah, it's, you know, good removal. Well, it's, is the Bloodseeker better, or the Flesh to Dust? I uh, think... It's also a Totem. Uh, this is actually kind of an interesting pick. I don't really want to take a green card just yet. I, I think I would take Flesh Dust here, kind of on the same reason of, you know, taking the Stab Wound, where, like, if we are shipping some black to the left, you know. But I think, this yeah. one, I think Flesh Dust is probably just a better card, actually. The, the Bloodseeker? Better than the Bloodseeker, yeah. I think it just... Even with this start? Of, like, multiple removal spells? Uh... I think it's close. I don't... I mean... I'm going to take the Bloodseeker, I think, actually. You could be right. Like I said, I... Uh, <laughs> Red's... Yeah, we'll try it. I actually don't even know if that guy's better than uh, Forge Devil. Okay. Ooh, jeez. What is that doing in the pack? It's better than the Paragon, right? Yeah. I, I mean, I have no problem taking removal spells, and I just assume whatever creatures I have will just... Yeah, kill it. them if they run out of things that can block them. Yeah. I mean, it's the same reason why I would want to take Flesh Dust two packs back, but maybe the Bloodseeker is that strong where... No, you're, you might be right. And it looks like Black's extremely open, so I might actually get punished for that. I think it's like uh, a punished in pack two where we're not really passing yeah. a lot of red where we might actually get some red coming through in pack two. A lot of people don't like red-black in this format, but I don't know. I drafted it whenever we were helping people prepare for uh, M15, and like I had no problem dropping yeah. that. I'll just be aggressive, killer the, things. The living totem still in the pack kind of makes me think green's open, but it's not like a huge deal. Did you see anything really other than Elvis Mystic early on in our first pack? What? I didn't think we saw very much early. We saw another totem. This card's like a maybe I overvalue this card. I think it's really important. It's like you want to be attacking this format, and I think this card's one of the green cards that let you to do that. No, yeah, he doesn't just... be attacked. I just like we didn't see any seed worms or anything particularly like. Yeah. 
Okay, I'll take four mana four three. That's a reasonable castable card. Yeah. Oh. It's probably better than Evolving Wilds because it forces the color decisions and these black cards are not worth taking. Though, oh, this is a zombie. Um, I actually like the card. Like, you know, as everybody's saying, a lot of X ones in this format and it gives it more value, especially when they have to discard a card after trading with one of their X ones. Well, I think I want to take this because it's a zombie. Well, I mean, I know you're hoping to wheel that thing back around. I'm just saying, I, you know, I wouldn't fall for taking you know, a black cat in this format compared to previous formats. Uh, yeah. Um, Frenzy Goblin's probably better. Ugh. I like Flesser Gloom because, like, it's an out to the to white token deck. And I think it, Frenzy Goblin's a very powerful card. It just doesn't mesh with playing Black Cat, but whatever. Um, I'll take the Fester Gloom, I guess. I think I actually do want to cut black here. Be, like, aggressive in making sure the people on my left aren't playing that color. So it looks like red's reasonably open. I can get a decent amount of stuff. Pack three. It's like it will have cards to pick. Maybe not anything premium, but like you'll definitely get you know, reasonable cards back. Sure. Though I guess Fester Gloom's probably at its worst in. I mean, aside from white, black, and red, black. Should you have like the most Altec Blood Seekers or whatever? Right, and, and I, say, I don't really ever start Fester Gloom, but I'm playing against like the white token spirit deck. I'm definitely you know happy I had at least one of those cards. Uh, do you really like taking the wilds or a green card here? I kind of like Battlefield Forge. Really? But I don't, if we I don't like that fight. one. I'd rather splash if I'm green because uh, you have like Seder Wayfinders or whatever. Okay. I mean, I Which, just always feel like, you know, taking Pain Land and like having that dual land, you know, there if I want to have the option of having white. But if you like Evolving Wilds, I'm going to that line better. I'm going to take one of the green cards, I think. I think restock's the more important one. Oh, there we go. We only have one, but I'm just going to take every single one I see from here on out. Sounds good to me. It's also a reason to be green, uh, because then you get to take... Um, I don't know what that's doing in the pack, but I'm just going to pass it. Sweet. Graveyard cards. Uh, right. It's going to be a little more green than... Uh, I like Eternal Thirst. Like, it's just a card that combos with different things. We had a chance to play it. I don't think it's worth trying to move into blue at some point. That card's actually playable. Uh, probably not playing the... Well, I mean, I could still be red. That card is real nice. I don't see a reason to take anything else, right? This, yeah, this pack is pretty mediocre. Than this. I mean, the next best card is Black Cat, but I'm probably going to wield that. Or the, I guess the Wayfinder is better, but I'd rather... You see my point. Yeah, no, you're, you're right. I'm going to wheel one of those two, and I don't really care which it is. This is also making me regret the uh, other pick, because I think Black Green is a lot about having the right removal spells. Which is very specifically, I need like a flesh to dust here. Uh, wouldn't mind another ulcer right? Ooh, I think Hunt the Week's better than ulcer right here. Well, we have creature wise, black hat, myth, and Ethan. Yeah, uh, seems. Under, under we don't have a lot of creatures. Is the part of the problem, but that's fixable. I think in black green, having the bigger removal spell is more important than the second ulcer right. I agree. I think that that card. I mean, you'll pick up your random creatures just to kill people. There's spider, yeah. there's worms. Spider would be nice. I'm gonna take the flesh to dust over the wayfinder or the maggot here. Yeah, I would take it here for sure. Yeah, I I think I just want the to lock in the first effect because that was um my second draft of the pro tour. Not having copies of this effect was very important. And like, once I lock that in, I can call it a day and move on. Yeah, that's so why I kind of like picking that the one early if I can't, especially if I know I'm going to be black, because then yeah. it, you know, you'd, everybody's going to be fighting later in the packs for the removal spells where you already have yours, and you're just kind of trying to pick up creatures to finish off the games. Yeah. I really like the idea of stockpiling people. I don't know why. I did it, like I said, I did it once, but I had nine zombies, and it's not looking like I'm hitting that number this time. Ugh, this pack is not good. Uh, I'm going to take the naturalize, I think. Don't need another early spell. 
Don't need Necrobite. Don't need... I've seen this card do good things, the shield, but I don't think this is the deck for it. No, I just like good sideboard cards in this format. More, you know, just that plummet. Yeah, well, I think that's, like, very specific to green. I think a lot of the other colors are not quite as good when it comes to cyber cards, but... We could even be playing this Moss Beast, or whatever this guy's called. Moss Beast? I think so. It finishes the game. I really hope. Uh, um, do we like Wayfinder over Spirit or Child? I don't think so. Especially if we don't have many creatures that kill them. I actually like Spirit a lot, but... I feel like... I don't think this is the deck for Spirit. Because you have Hunt the Week with it. Eh. I have two things to incentivize the Wayfinder already. All right. I, I don't have a ton of experience drafting a black green like Gregor deck, but I mean, I know yeah. Wayfinder is important, so if we want to get him now, get him now. Uh, uh, another Hunt the Week, I guess. I'm debating the Bronze Stable, <laughs> but Hunt is. Yeah, Hunt is too good to pass up here, I think. I, I think we'll get more Bronze Stable. I think people undervalue that card a little bit. Possibly. But I think that card is pretty reasonable. Um, Cyborg Mind Rot? Yeah. Stockpile may have been a, a stretch. I don't think there was really much else in that pack. Uh, I just need some big creatures here, right? We're I guess we're getting a little cut because we passed, like, Mystic 2 Totems pack 1. Right, so I, I didn't think we were going to see Hunt this pack here to get some stuff to like fill in the middle parts of the deck, and then hopefully pack three start seeing some better things. That's an easy one. Bear. Yeah, the amulet I don't think is good, but that's a lot of removal. Uh, do we want zombie cat or off? I'm gonna take the zombie cat. I really want to see if it happens, but. Okay, but I mean, I don't think Zoff Shade's anything special at all, so I mean, Black Hat's fine. Okay. I mean, we need zombie birds. I, I think probably the bare minimum for this card's like... I think we only saw six. one of the crows. We did, yeah. There was, uh, we passed the crow and took the lightning strike, right? Because there was the flesh to us too. Yeah. We probably could use like a rot feast or maggot to go with these hunt the weeks, or something just bulkier. I also don't mind black cat with the scavenger. I don't, I don't think we'll have any problem picking up. Good right. people finally figured out this card's terrible. <laughs> Is that the clone? You, the, the clone your own stuff guy. Yeah. Uh, probably the lava axe. I don't really care if they kill my random dudes, but that's a problem. Vine weft? Um, I don't think I'm gonna fountain. Yeah, I'd rather I, splash I, I lightning strike. Uh, we didn't wheel, or we wheeled the cat, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna haven, but we'll see. What? No one wanted the missionaries? Guess nobody's in white, huh? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, totem. <clears throat> um, I mean, you probably don't want to splash with somebody else at all. So yeah, it's living totem. Yeah, I, the third hunt the week is significantly worse than the first two. Passing the dragon probably doesn't matter too much. We don't have anything to get with it. I mean, I'll take him higher if I have him like a meteorite or a juggernaut. Yeah, or... like we could somewhat splash in the stack. Ooh, elvish mystic. So it looks good. Yeah, now we have a full yeast on curve. Just straight up ignoring the flesh to us because we've hit our six removal spells or whatever. Yeah, like I said, at this point in the second, in the third, and second pack, you can figure out what you actually need for your deck rather than struggling and scrambling to get removal spells. Yeah, you're always gonna play removal, but there's a chance you might need specific curve drops back, uh, more. Uh, ugh, this pack probably is another vampire. Um, how much do you like Will Forge Golem? Uh, that actually might be better in this deck. I think, you know, having this Wayfinder and these Black Cats might be something to, uh, get up no, there. No, that's very reasonable. Vampire is not 
I guess, super exciting. It, yeah, it's, it's this, fine, but I think having the extra ability to just get out of full for a turn yeah. sooner. This card's way better in, like, black-white where you're attacking or red-black. It can still close a game, you know, reasonably fast. It's just not necessarily, you know, having the red burn to go along with it. There's a spider. I don't think this pick's remotely close. It's just spider. Yeah. Uh... Better than this nonsense. Yeah, like, I think like Primal Cross got worse than this set. What is this? Maybe, man. Could have picked up on a blue signal pack one. <laughs> Jeez. I know it's Kevin. bad. I know it's bad to say this, but I try to avoid drafting blue in this format as much as possible. That that's reasonable. Uh, Sentinel or Covenant? Sen mm -hmm. Sentinel. Oh, go for Sentinel. Because I was looking at Scavenger here too, but I don't know if that uh, have things for that. I don't think we want the second one. I think I'd rather have a Covenant at this point. Yeah, Covenant's pretty good. Card is quite absurdly good. Also, we probably want the one life gain effect. I agree. Just... And we also we already have a Spider to deal with Flyers, and a Will Forge for the Intimidate guy. We have twelve creatures, but we're a little more controlling than. Yeah. Uh, Siege Worm. Yeah. That... Better than Tar. Um. I think with only 12 creatures, yeah. I think this is, you know, we definitely want that bigger drop. Well, I... I, I mean, I know how good Tar is. I remember how good it was in Odyssey and everything. I just think the Worm here is just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. A far better pick in this situation. Yeah, worth remembering that if we play a Black Mirror, we probably want Naturalize and Mind Rot to handle that. Uh, 2-3? Yep. Very respectable 2-3. Joins the team of other two threes. Uh, snap off another naturalize. Yep, and Vivian Path Mage. Yeah, fortunately we have all of these things that kill creatures. Uh, so we're short like one creature of what I'd like to have. Does that sound right? Right. And we, I mean, we have the Leeching Sliver in worst case. That's a pretty bad case. Uh, Mind Rot's probably the best card out of the sideboard right now. Yeah. Oh, it's off shade. Yep. I think I'm taking that over Hunt here. Uh, yeah, if we wanted a 15th creature, I would just take it here. I mean, we have two Hunt the Weeks or Hunt the Week already. Yeah. Pretty absurd that that card's still here, but... I'll take a Moss Beast. Yep. It's just a generic dude. <clears throat> that card might... Oh! Crash him. A much better generic dude. This looks pretty reasonable. Yeah, it does. I don't think we really wanted the caustic tar there, I think, over No, I I agree. I think especially with the black hat wayfinder stuff going on. Uh like, the big question is whether we play Mind Rot or a creature. I'll wait to see it all laid out and then just... So... We're, I don't think we're playing the second Moss Beast. Yeah, we're definitely not. Charging Rhino. We, we could have that Rhino at the end there. Definitely better than the Moss Beast. So we have six removal spells, which sounds like a good number. Mm -hmm. Can I stack my cards? There we go, Moto. Uh... Wound. I really like Mind Rod as a card, but it's possible it's the worst thing in the deck. I mean, we're not cutting any of these eight. Right. Zoth Shade is probably the worst. Yeah, I think I'm just going to cut the shade. Yeah, I mean, it's it takes a lot of mana to get anything really going with it. We have better things to spend our mana on in the later turns. Yeah. Yeah, and I think Mind Rod is quite powerful. Actually, corset limited. I mean, we even have a moss. Piece. There's a very no, there's not that many ways to get you know efficient like two for ones in this format, and my rod is one of the. Yeah. Like that divination, cone of flame, obviously, just. Well, that doesn't count. Yeah, well, cone of flame just probably shouldn't. Be yeah. Here. Yeah, <laughs> that might be a, a good way to describe it. Uh, just eight seven. Or eight nine. Um. 
Let me look again. I, I don't think there's a reason, especially because the black cats are early in the ult rate and we got flesh dust. Even if there's more green symbols, I'd rather just have the extra black source. Yeah, I'm, I'm generally when it comes to make my mana base, I'll not really go to seven yeah. that often because I just want to... We also have a mystic as another green source, yeah. so... When it comes to making mana bases, I just want to make sure I get my land into play and give myself yeah. at least a chance to play the game. Ca if like... you can cast your spells, it's all good. Yeah. I'm just looking at sideboard options. <laughs> That. Two Nacolizes is pretty good, actually. Pretty yeah, that's absurdly good. Um, Fester Gloom is really, pretty hot. Yeah, that was a good early pickup, I think. We passed a Cantrip guy, but whatever. Right? Right, but like, we're playing as a deck that has like Razor Arm and Triple Conspiracy, so we're going to be really yeah. happy that this Fester Gloom. Okay. Looks good.